good? Checking my sound. Okay, so I'm Fiona Fernandez and I'm the maker of Biking Handcrafts and I'm also an independent stamp and acting player. So I've been having a lot of fun this year making cards and running classes and just having a good time with it and selling products. So that's really exciting too that other people want to get involved and enjoy making cards. So I'm madly doing the Christmas card dash at the moment, although I have been a bit earlier than normal because I've been making cards in some of my classes. So I had some Christmas cards made already. And of course I've made some in my lives as well, which is good. So at the moment you might have seen my ads for the sale that is on. So the mini stamp up catalogue, grab that, is on sale. Uh, this one goes till the end of December, this one. And they have the current things on sale on the website. So there is a list as well. If you need to see that list, it is on my blog. So you're welcome to go and look at that or message me and I'll email it to you. Not a problem. So there's a few things on there that will be retiring. Oh, these are retiring. There's another list to tell you what's not retiring but it may change the way sometimes they sell them singly instead of as bundles so you can still buy them in the next catalogue that's still on the website but you won't be able to buy the bundle as well so when we say bundles and we're talking about a stamp set with a punch or with some dies and if you buy them in a bundle if they're offered as a bundle you get 10 percent off the price so some of them change with the sale. So just check out the website or ask me if you need more information. I'll be using the um, loose one tonight, which is on sale. So I'll be putting a link up on my Facebook page as well with a link to these. So these will work actually for if you buy them individually, not as the bundle in the sale. Okay, Mary Moose and this punch. That's the punch. And there's a couple of other bits and pieces that I've highlighted. The wrapping texture embossing folder is also going to be going. So that's one for the mini. Put that on the floor again. And what else have I highlighted? Feels like frost. So I'm going to be using the Feels Like Frost paper tonight. It's so pretty. And that's actually got uh, pictures on one side and lovely shiny stuff on the other side. So you can do lots of different things with it. Put my list down on the floor. And the other exciting news I have is ta -da! hi dice. Uh, it's a little mini. It's here. It's finally here. So that this is available to demonstrators now. If you're dem if you join Stampin' Up as a demonstrator, you get to buy some products early. They do a pre-order for the catalogues and so I got one and they'll be available to customers in January. So here it is. So cute and it's so light, it's so gorgeous. But it's so cute. And it has its own little things to go with it, which are here on my desk. So I will get that out in a minute and demonstrate. <laughs> As a demonstrator. So there you go. I shall pop you up over the top of my um, desk here so that you can see my table and get over to the I'm still here, sing a song. We'll just meditate. So, how are all your Christmas plans coming along? got my Christmas paper out. Look, I bought that last year. A little Christmas decorative paper to work on. It's just not the same size as the other one. So it's um, it's a square. The other one is a rectangle. So it's a little bit different to work on. But I'll work it out. Got to move cords out of the way. 
it out in my head. Alright, how's that look? Got my cords out of the way. Good. So are you making anything tonight, Di? Or anybody else that's watching? Anyone making anything? I love this picture. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's one of the papers and it's got some really pretty silver on the back. But first of all, before we do that, I'm going to get my little mini out. Get my mini out. Which way am I going to wind? This way. I'll wind this way. Get out the mini. Let's play. No, nope, not tonight. Writing cards. Yep, I did some today and sent them off. And keep working on them. Get them going. So the little mini comes with these, the same as the other one, and it shows you. It shows you in here what to do. Get my other glasses on. Hi, Fina. Welcome. I'm just about to play with my mini for a minute. <clears throat> Right, yeah, that's another language. <laughs> Let's find the English. Pull down. Oh, so it just shows you what to do with it, what comes with it. So we have the stamp and emboss machine, the mini base plate. So it's the same as your big one, they're just little. There's your base plate, it's number one. Number two, here's a clear plate. Got some nice paper in there. You get two clear plates, so one goes on the bottom. And then we have, what's this one? Insert embossing folders, hinge first. Ah, this is an embossing folder. Okay. Nice. Use with thin dies. So this one's die cutting edge down. I have to read all this. I haven't read them all yet. <laughs> Insert embossing folders. So this one is a thick one to go with the thin embossing folders and that one's a thinner one. So they've got the two sizes in there, which is very handy. Okay, let's, let's play then, shall we? So we put the first one down and we want, I think I'll do an embossing folder because I've got my embossing folders out. I've got them all out. So this one here, the wrapped in texture is the one that's retiring. So if you want to get your hands on that one, it's on sale in the shop at the moment, in the Stampin' Up shop. Wrapped in texture. Which one will I use tonight? Um, I think, oh, I think I'll use that one. Because it's, I like this one. Cute, and it sort of goes with anything. That's what I like about it. So I've just got to put it out of the packet. So there's two in this one, there's this one, and I've used this over the last few weeks a fair bit in different things I'm doing. And so that's like dots, and this one is like a baskety sort of look. So I think I'll go baskety. I'm going to grab my pre-cut card. <laughs> Some pre-cut card stock. You got yours? Yeah, I only just got it out tonight. I unboxed it the other day in a video, but I didn't get every single thing out of the box, I realised later. <laughs> I thought I'll try it tonight. So they, that goes on the... I think we put that one on the base. Hang on, let me read. I better read, hadn't I? One. Okay. Insert embossing folder. Hinge first. So we want plate one, which is on the table, and we want plate three on the top. So I'm going to try it with the thick one, because these are quite thin. Yeah, yeah. so this says standard embossing folders and this one says use with 3D embossing folders. So 3D ones are a little bit thicker. Just must give it a bit of... So I've got the hinge in first. There's the hinge of the embossing folder. Let's move that down a bit. Make sure it's in there. And get my instructions out of the way. And roll, roll, roll. It's harder to do this on paper. <laughs> like under there because it doesn't grip oh it's so cute just feels lots of fun to use it <laughs> it's a little baby one I'm calling it my baby 
Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so good. Wow, like that. You see that? Yeah, look at that. Woohoo. Woohoo. Oh, oh, wow. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Very nice. Good, good. Let's do another one. I'm going to play with these in a minute. Now, which one will I do? The, oh, I'll do the dotty one. Let's do the dotty one as well. I should try and find, see if one of them is a 3D, shouldn't I? And we can play with that as well. And if you're new to Stampin' Up, you can do all sorts of things with their products. It's basic or advanced, wherever you're at. It doesn't matter. I've heard people say they're not creative, but you don't need to be. If you just want to have a bit of fun and play with the products and try them out and make cards. It's good fun. There's that one. That's really nice too, isn't it? Look at that. It's giving a real nice depth on the embossing. I do like that. Very yummy. Yummy. I tend to use that word a lot, but I'm not really eating them. Okay, let's see what the other ones are like. I don't know. Well, maybe these ones are 3D. Hang on. No, they look the same. Let me have a look. They're similar thickness. Yeah, I think they're all similar thickness. Did not get them mixed up. So the other ones I've got are greenery embossing folders. So you get these two in the packet. I'm going to show you those. So you end up with some leaves. Things like that. And I might do a leafy one. I've got another piece of board here. I'll do it on do it on this one. So I just cut a few pieces up so that I'd have something to play with. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, dear. You've got to remember to put the plates on, okay? <laughs> that will help. Alright, maybe they're bringing out some more 3D embossing folders in the small ones. I wrote down the other set I don't have, so I'll have to order those. Now. Right, there we go. That's a nice one. So the actual imprint, so that's, I've got it upside down really. Depend, I mean, it doesn't matter putting it through the machine, but when you get it out, the Stampin' Up! logo there on the top is where the embossing is sitting up. So just make sure you always feel them if you're doing something specific with them so that you know which side's going to have the raised embossing. So that's that one. That's quite nice. Hmm. Okay, I've got any more? I've got another little piece here. Let's do one more. Oh, let's do some butterflies. I've got some butterflies in this one. This one's got leaves at the bottom, so that would make a nice card when you put something else at the top. I won't do that one now, I'll do the, this one. We'll get a few butterflies on there. I'm just going to put that in the middle. And pop it on. So these are all just the thin, normal, standard ones so far. There's 3D ones in the larger embossing folders already. Right, there we go. So easy to use this little one. I mean, the other one's easy too, but this is so easy. Oh, look at that. I'm going to come closer. Here we go. Look at those butterflies. Oh, yum. That's cool. Right, well, let's put the embossing folder together. Oh, hang on, I've got... No, no, I'll leave that one there. Put the embossing folders over to the side. And down there on the, on the side there. <laughs> oh, that's the floor, on the floor. Right, I'll get my little thingy cut around the way. And of course you just fold it up when you're finished. It's really light, but it's heavy enough. It's, it's light, but it's heavy, you know. Weird, isn't it? 
put it on my plates off the table. I'll just pop them over there. Now, I thought tonight we'll use my Merry Moose. Get my little moose out. So I used him the other week when I was doing the, um, what do you call it? The Christmas countdown project. I've got paper under my foot. The Christmas project I used. Just move my paper a bit so it's back in the back in the, the right place. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I put that on my project kit, and I also used the little um, stamp for the presents. This one. Oh, and I used him as well. The little raccoon. Cute. So I thought tonight I'd play with this one and use this as sort of a background. So, and I'll play with these things that I've just made as well in a minute. That's something else I'm doing. Just grab a card base. I'll usually grab an A4 sheet and cut it in half to start with. And that just measures the one... I go up to the 14 centimetres and I go up to 8, well, to be exact, it's 8, 5. <laughs> 1, 4, 8, 5, to be precise. And then we just score it down here. Make sure you can see that. Get your cutter out of the way. Make sure your cutter's up that end of the thing, not this end, because I've done that before. And just score your card and then you just fold it so that you've just scored it there and then just fold it like that and I always match up my edges first and then just run your bone folder across it like that and I usually do that on the piece that I'm going to put on the back Oh good, I'm glad it shows up well on the camera. Yeah, I stand up to make sure I've got it in camera shot usually, the embossing folders, so that or anything I'm putting up there, so that I can see that it's actually showing when I'm doing it. So I thought with this one, I'd go that way. And I'm going to cover up. I haven't decided whether I'll cover the whole card or just... I might do it. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't really decided. I just decided to play tonight. <laughs> I do plan sometimes, and I sort of plan in my head a little bit. But I wanted the look. Uh, I don't know whether to go that way or this way. Maybe it is better this way. So with the mousse, we've got a punch here. And you just... I'll just move that out of the way. You just slide that down, and it opens. So then you've got a mousse. So when you get a new punch, I have done a video on new punches. But I always get a piece of um, other card. Or preferably card, like out of... Um, a cereal box or something like that but I've got a piece of paper here so I'll just double check I think I have used him once or twice I'm just gonna put a bit of paper in there they have a little bit of oil on them so it's best to check first before you do it onto your cardstock like there's a couple of mooses and I'm just so I'll stamp those out and punch them out and then I'll send them to my granddaughter because <laughs> she likes to play with my punched out pieces and make cards and things so I'm just checking that so it's looking pretty good oh, now I can't get out <laughs> okay just rip it out no that doesn't happen with the cardstock it's because I'm using paper and it's just a scrap piece in there so you can see on there there's no I can't see any oil on there let's come closer and have a good look and there might be a little bit on the back I don't know if you see it on the back there on the back, there's oh, just there, there's a little bit of oil around the edge. So it's important to just punch it a few more times. I'll open that up to make sure you get that oil off it. It's quite normal. It's just how it comes when you get them. So it's not going on to the actual punched piece here. It's just on the edge of the card, on his feet. A bit of oil down there. isn't he? I'm going to have a lot of them. You could make all sorts of things out of these. You could hang them up and make a um, 
a little thing, a trail of them. And in the catalogue, there's actually a nice picture that, that'll be shared later on my page. That's what I use to put my post on. Sorry, <laughs> I've got a bit of paper stuck in there. Always, always in your line, isn't it? Hang on, I'll just grab some tweezers. I've got tweezers handy. Oh, it's disappeared now. It must have fallen out. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. Okay. Get rid of that piece. Well, if it hasn't come out, it will come out eventually. I can't see it anyway. It might have come out. Okay. So for my little moose, we've got a stamp here. So I might stamp him. Maybe over there. Take that off. So it comes with a protective sheet on your stamps and these ones are the photopolymer stamps. So these are the clear ones. And I'm going to <coughs> clear my throat. <laughs> Pop it down. And then get him up there. Alright, so I, what colour will we use? What colour will we stamp our moose with? I'm going to stamp him and cut him out and I'm going to put him on the paper. Put him in this picture. And then I'm also going to do <coughs> a sentiment, so I'll just get that out of the way. So we'll put a sentiment on here. And any ideas for colours? <coughs> or I'll tell you what colours are in this set. I might not have them all. There's balmy blue, which is the paley sort of blue. So if you look in here, Army Blue is this colour here. I'm not sure about that for this one. I think it might be a bit too light. I've got Army Blue, Brushing Blide, Highland Heather, Knight of Navy, Pe Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, Smoky Slate and Whisper White. I'm going to use that paper. So I'm thinking... Hmm... What about, I'm thinking Highland Heather. Has anyone else got any ideas? Okay, for Highland Heather. What if I stamp him in that? Or maybe I'll do the sentiment in that. And stamp the moose in a different, sort of a more of a brownie colour. Maybe we'll do the moose in a different colour. I've got stays on, but I wasn't going to use that colour. Mm. Mm. What else have I got over here? I've got... <coughs> what was the grey they said? They said smoky slate. Oh, yeah, I've got smoky slate. Get that out. Get that out. For Heather. For the sentiment. I'm thinking the sentiment. I'm thinking I'll use the which sentiment. Let's have a look. I, oh, what about enjoy the stillness of the season? I like that. I have to find some blocks. I've put all my blocks away. I'll get them out again soon, haven't I? I'm looking forward to having my team here on the weekend. That'll be fun. I haven't met in person for a while, I've been a team, I mean, so that would be nice. Alright, there's another stamp. Oops, <laughs> sticking on my fingers. Okay, so these are new, so I always wash them first. I have cleaned my, yes, the heather. I have used, cleaned my chamois today, it's nice and clean. I know you don't think it's clean, but it is. And I'll just get the little, there's another moose here. So I'll put him on the other side. So I'll put him down first. We put him down first so that he doesn't stretch. And I'll 
I'll just put him on there. So he's like a solid piece you can do to colour it in. Put that away. So this is the smoky one. If I, oops, today, let's get my finger in it. If I get my finger in it. <laughs> All right, let's try that again, shall we? That over there. It's stuck to the thing. All right. I usually get a little scrap piece of paper to stamp on first. So that's that colour. I think that'll be all right. And then the other side, you stamp. Oh, ooh, that went all bubbly. Look at that. Okay, let's just tap that a little bit. Oh, it's got bubbles on it. Look at that. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty hard to see over the top of this. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Hang on, I've got to come closer down here. Might have to take the other one off the top. Or not. Oh, look at that. It's like a shadow. Okay, so the other thing is you can stamp it off first and you'll get a lighter one. So if I stamp it off first and then do it over the other one, I know. Oh, look at that. How is that? That was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> that was just lucky, that one. <laughs> this one. Wow. I got him. You could do it either way. Like You can have a shadow. That's fine. I can just wipe my stamps in. Let's dry them off a bit. Okay, I'm going to do that one. Now with these stamps too, it is a good idea to have them on the mat. You stamp and pierce mat. And this one I use for stamping, so I've written on the side of it, stamp. So I know to do that. I'll just put this on my piece of paper. And stamp him. There we go. Now I'm going to take that off this time so I can see right through everything. Much better. Right, I'm going to stamp that one off. See if I can get it on his legs. Hang on. See, it's too dark like that. I just got to get my head in the way. Sorry. There you go. I like that. It's cute, isn't it? Okay, just pop that out of the way. It's a little bit over the edge, but he'll be all right. He'll be okay. All right, I turn it over like this so that I can see exactly where it's lining up. Let's get my smoky slate out of the way. I don't have an accident. And I can't see it because I've got my, I'd have to put my head under the camera, which I don't want to do. So I'll pick it up and just wiggle with it until you get everything where you want it. And I gradually squeeze it so that I get it. I think that's all right. And then I've gripped the card. Pop. And there we have our little moose. My moose. My little moose. Right, now. Stamp the center and on this one. <coughs> I'm going to use my Highline Heather. And where did my thing go? I'll just test it first so it's still a bit... I'm going to need to clean that a bit more. I'll just do it a few times because I haven't used it yet. So I'll just stamp it a few times. Get in there. The other way you can do it is to hold it up like this and dab it. You can see the ink on it. Just 
check that one. It's got a bit more on it. I can do it that way. So I've bought the little mini ink spots. You can buy these uninked ink spots and you can buy the ink to go in them. So they're the refills for the bigger ink pads as well. And I just like to use them like that. So I'll just stamp that there so that I've got... I might do two while I'm at it. I just found it saved a bit of room to have the stamp ink spots like this for me. I do like the big ones too though. The big ones are easier to use on the bigger stamps, but at least you can still use the small ones as well and just stab them on. Okay, that's that one. Yeah, I haven't decided what shape I'll punch that out yet. Let me find my paper, my cup. Right, so I think I'll go. Where's the little moose? Where's my moose? I think I'll put him. If I do it that way, that might work, I think. With the white border, because I've got a little bit of white around him, I think it'll look funny otherwise. So I'm going to leave a border. Now I think I'll use this side though. I'm thinking that side. And then I've got to work out what I'm going to cut that out with. Let me have a look. What have we got? I could use a circle maybe. I've got a big circle this week because I bought it last week. That's probably too big. <laughs> That's probably too big. Um, where's my other circle? I've got a one and a half circle. How does that all fit? What do you think? I think I might go one and a half. And of course, I've got other circles that are stitched, but I think for this exercise, I shall just use this one. There we go. Thank you. You think my mousse is perfect? Oh, uh, if you look closely, it's, it's, I've missed a little bit. You know, I didn't line it up perfectly. I think the other one I did. This one was real good fluke, that one. He's cute though, and he does look textured. He looks like he's here. I'll bring him up here. He looks like he's got fur. Look, it's got a good effect, and it saves you having to colour it in. And I'll let us do this. Okay, let me trim this down. So I'm going to be taking off. So I'll do it to ten that way. 14.4 that way. Make sure I cut it the right way. <laughs> I've done that as well. The wrong way. Right, so I've cut it that way. And then I'm just going to take a bit off the bottom there. Oh no, I've broke the fingernail. And 14.4. You just take that off so that you've got it like that. That's such a pretty picture. I love it. And I'm going to use my... What will I use? I'm not going to use Tombow on that because I don't want it to buckle. I'm going to use my stamp and seal. silicon mat. So look at the back of that. I mean you could certainly do so many things with this paper. I might do it this way. Perhaps if I get it the right way. <laughs> oh dear. I'm stamp and seal challenge someday. Oops, sorry. I bumped my thing. Going to the garbage bin. Okay, so this feels like frost paper is also on sale at the moment until stocks last and it's $13 instead of $26, so 50% off. That's a great buy if you are interested in this paper. 
I love it. It's beautiful. And you can use it for so many more things, not just Christmas. I used some of the Dotty one the other day. Um, this one. I'll find the Dotty. That Dotty one in there. I used that on a card for an anniversary. So there's just so many uses. I like that about it. You're not just buying it for Christmas. I, I like having that framed border there. That's cool. There's my little man. Stillness. I might put that up there. Like We've got round circles everywhere, haven't we? I'll put that up the top. And of course it needs something else. It's not finished yet. <laughs> we need something else. Right, now, I'm just thinking, a bit of ribbon. Let me see what ribbon I've got. Grab my ribbon box. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what colour is that? I don't know if that's the right colour. No, it's too much purple. Too much purple going on. Um, now. Use that yet? What's that one called? Embroidered ribbon. That's in the. This one came with. I'll just put that up like that. Will it stay? Stay. Stay there. This one is called. Yeah, embroidered ribbon. And it's actually in the, the same catalogue, the mini catalogue. I'm not sure if that one's on special. I haven't been able to see it on my sheet. It's quite pretty. I think it's in order of the book. On the sheet, the um, lists are in order of how they show in the catalogue by page number. Just trying to find it. Mm -mm -mm. Embroidered ribbon, it's on the last page and it's 20% off at the moment. It's up there. There it is. Okay. Just so you know. Oh, you still think he's perfect. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> I think he's cute. I don't know if this is going to match it until I pull it out of the packet. Not sure about it. Or whether just to do like a little thing up the top. We'll put him on a piece of ribbon. I could put him on a piece of ribbon, couldn't I? He can be walking across a bridge. I don't mind that. But I still think that needs something. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um looking at the other colours in the packet for let me think let me think or I could just make the edges of it coloured and pop it up I could pop it up on something what other colours have we got here I've got Got a bit of blushing bride. That's blushing bride, but that might be too much. I think I need something else. I need something else. I'm not sure about the gold. Because mm. I've used the grey, I'm just not sure about that. Not sure about it. Still feeling it. Ribbon. Not sure about yeah, me too. I'm feeling like that too. I think it's gonna get ditched in a second. Wait now. <laughs> Doesn't take long. It's gotta be right. No. I like it to be right anyway. How about what about some of that one? Or I could leave him there and put the ribbon up the top. I 
I could do a piece of ribbon out the side, sort of like that. Or even just a, um, a piece like that behind it, like fold it so it finishes behind, behind there. Let me have a look. Do, do, do. What time? Nine o'clock. About that sort of thing. Find my steps. No, I don't have a purple. I've got, um, I've got one, but I don't think it's the right colour. I've got this one. But I'm not sure. It's too pinky, I think. I don't feel like it makes... It's too... It's too something. It's too much the same. <laughs> Do you like this one? If I stuck that behind there. Somehow, I do like this ribbon, I think it's gorgeous. Or I did it that way, now it looks funny like that. Or I, could, I don't think a bow is going to work. It. So I put the ribbon under him again, like him walking on the ribbon. Put that there and just pop that up on a bit of silver. Like I had out, and I'm gonna. Hang on, I've got to get it out of the packet. A bit of that silver <coughs> on a circle. Uni, I've got to find another circle. Find a circle. Find a little circle. Got a few circles. Is that one too big? That's a bit big. What about that one's too small? It's like Goldilocks, isn't it? right that's just right about a bit of that here we can use the mini again quick let's get him out the way you hop over there little man <coughs> quick let's pull out the mini oh no i'm going to cut into my first mat my first plate i'm going to use the mini there you go. This is like the first cut on the mini. Move that out of the way. Sorry. <laughs> Limited space. So I've got to hold on to it tight because it's on the paper. Okay. There we go. Look, my first cut. How exciting. Put that back in the packet so we don't lose it. Get my little thing over here. So that is quite normal for that to happen. It cuts into the plate. It's a bit sad the first time you do it, but oh well. It's done now. I'm just thinking of that. It gives it a bit more something. Pops it up a bit. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, that's better. I'm liking that better. I'll put him up from there, I think. Okay, do we want the ribbon at the bottom or not? Yes, no. Ribbon at the bottom, yes, no. Moist. Do you like the ribbon at the bottom as well? 
I quite like it. But without it, it feels more, I don't know, like you're in the country. And with it is, I don't know. Let me look in the, let me look up here. <laughs> Maybe you don't need it. Maybe we don't need the ribbon at the bottom. I do like it, but that looks like it's gold on there, that top one, but it's not, it's silver. That's silver. I'll hold it up a bit. So the silver trim on the ribbon and the silver on the the circle underneath. It's just the way the light is on it on the table. It looks more gold. I'm going to light a bit more. Maybe if I can change that. Yeah. Delete it. It's a shame it looks gold. It's actually silver. No ribbon at all. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I feel like it keeps you in the picture better without the ribbon. So I'll just pop him on there and then I'll pop that up. To put that on there. Put a bit of that on there. Got enough on there to hold it on. I think. Actually, I might put a bit more because it's a bit shiny, that other stuff, isn't it? Just put that on there. Get it on. <laughs> fiddly, fiddle, fiddle. All right, there we go. I'm looking forward to my card class on Saturday, on the 19th as well. It's a whale of a time. That's going to be fun. I think we'll make something a bit different that day. So I'll be preparing my card kits soon. If anyone wants to join in, let me know this weekend. Because I need to get them out to people. Need to get them out in time. And with postage at the moment, we never know. So I do like to get them in the mail as early as possible if I'm mailing them. If you're between Piemont and um, Penrith, I'm happy to deliver. <laughs> To make sure you get them on time. All right, I think I'll just pop that up the top. I'll just hold that up. Got it quite right. Make the words straight. There we go. I might pop him up as well. Hi, Jill. Never mind, you're always welcome. I'm just playing. I've been playing with the mini tonight. My little mini emboss and cut machine. Got that. So that's good fun. It's really cute and easy to use. And I'm just playing with my little Merry Moose. I'm just going to put him there. No, he's not right, is he? Is he all right there? Let me have a look on the pitch up the top. I've pushed him down now. I think he's too far over this way. No! <laughs> no! No! Hold it and I push it down and it's not right. Hang on a minute. Just a moment, please. I don't know if I can get him back off. Not sure. Having a look. You know that take your pick tool is very handy. Look. Look at that. That is so handy. I've stuck him in the wrong spot, I think. But we'll see. If it don't come off this one, he's got to stay there. He may just have to stay there. <laughs> So if you put it in the wrong spot, you can stick your take a pick tool down there like this. 
And gently, gently, gently lever it up until you get them off. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to do that too often. But I'm glad it happened. Glad he came off. Let me try that again. And it didn't damage my card at all. Okay, I had him over there too far. I wanted him back a little bit. And I'm not sure whether to go up a bit or stay down. It's really good having the camera here because then I can stand up and look at what I'm doing and get a visual on it. I'm thinking there. Let me put his foot down and leave him sitting there for a second. That's better. Looks okay to you? <laughs> I'm going to be fussy sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's got to look. It's got to look right to me. I think I need some bling. So while we're thinking about that for a second, I'll get my bling. All right. Let's find the bling box. I keep all my bling in one of these so that I can find it easily. And it sits flat on my desk up here. So I'm thinking we need something for this. I do happen to have some snowflakes. I'm not sure if they'll work though. Depends on the colour. Right, let me have a look at those. See, they go all different greeny colours. So I'm just not... Well, that one looks alright, doesn't it? So I've got those, and I've also got, uh, what else could we use? Let's have a look. I've got the plain silvery ones. Let me get them out of the packet so you can see them. The silvery ones, right, they're just clear rhinestone basic jewels. Let's take a vote. Take a vote. Now, what else have I got here? I've got my artistry ones as well. They're cute. And they come in two diff a few different colours. There's the bluey ones. And there's the pinky, pinky ones. And there's also this paler pinky colour. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, and that colour. Got it. Too many to choose from. That one's darker than that one. They're nice. Ooh, but I think they might. Mm, I don't know. Not the blue. You think down a few millimeters, do you? Not stuck him on yet. Like there. There he is. Yep, I like him there too because I like the way the snow is sitting behind it. Okay. Any any votes for bling? We'll have a bling vote. <laughs> so we've got the snowflakes. Not sure about the snowflakes. I don't think they stand out enough. Oh, I could put one on there, couldn't I? The snowflakes. <coughs> rhinestone. I do like the rhinestone. <coughs> I can't decide either. <coughs> oh, dear. All right, let's get rid of a few off the table. I think that one might be too gold. Let's get rid of that. There we go, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, all right, and then this one's probably, I do like that, but I'm not sure if it's too, it sort of goes against enjoy the stillness. So I'm putting that away. 
These feel stiller, but then this gives it a nice bit of glitter, doesn't it? I do have another minute. There is something else. I do have my little drops too, my epoxy, frosted and epoxy drops. Forgot about them. That's the epoxy ones. That's the clear ones. Shiny, shiny. And these are frosted. They're nice, aren't they? And they sort of go with the dots in there. Maybe I'll go with those ones. I think I'll get rid of the... Okay, I'm getting there slowly. What did Athena say? I think maybe the rhinestones, it's simple and lots of sparkle. Yes, I quite like the rhinestones. And then I just found these and went, mm, does that give the gentle, because of the stillness, enjoy the stillness of the season. But then they do sparkle. Mm. Mm. Oh, the things we have to decide. I'm getting stuck in bling over there. All right, let me get that bling out of the way. The frosty ones. Oh, the frosty ones. <laughs> okay, we've got frosty ones and we've got those ones. I wish these ones were on a clear sheet like these ones because then I could put it over the top like that. What if we did um, small frosty ones, these ones? Oh yeah, let's get one of these out. These may take a pick. Take a pick. This is the question, where do we stick it? Let me stand up. I quite want one up there. There's one there. <laughs> I'm putting one there. And I'm putting one, hang on, I've got to get it on my thing. Maybe she'll put two there. Yeah, I'm thinking two there, actually. Maybe one, no, that might look funny up there. What about one on there? I like it on there. I'm thinking maybe put two up there and then one on there. I'm going to stick him down now. He is stuck now, okay? Yeah, I always struggle with it too, Jill. The question is, do I want to do it one of the small and the big one up there? Because I like doing that. I'm going to stick a big one in there because there's one on, you know, there's a frosty bit there where there's already a thing. Like there's snow on the lens. Hmm. I think I'll go one there. I like it on there. Oh, aren't they pretty? See, they add something, don't they? Yeah. I don't know, it might look funny if I stick one in there, might it? Might look a bit odd. Let me get another little one. I'll get another one there. One there? No. <laughs> one down here? Go all around the card. I still wonder about that. No, it looks a bit funny, doesn't it? About two there. Doo -doo -doo. That looks funny up the top. Oh, what have we got? One near the sentiment, one near the Mrs. Front foot. Down here or in that circle? There or there? Top, bottom. It's always good to have more eyes on this project. In the circle? I'll just hold it there for a second. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it balances it out there. Put that 
half under the circle under there what do you mean? Do you mean Jill? Half under the circle. Do you mean this circle or that circle? <laughs> Which circle? Um, a little higher. So on the top of the little, the big circle. Oh, the sentiment circle. Half under the sentiment circle. What under there? Well, that's a different approach. Oh, I don't know now. Or are you talking about over here? This is where we need zoom, isn't it? I like it down near his foot. I think I'm going to go near his foot. It's just a matter of where. I could go there. <laughs> this is the hardest part. I agree. It's always tricky putting the bling on. It's good if you can... I do like that I can do this with this tool because that helps to hold it in place. And I'm looking on the screen as well. To get an idea of what it looks like. If I go over there, yeah, just around there. All right, I'm liking that on the screen. Oops, the daisies. <laughs> what happened then? Hang on, I've got to sit down again. I lost my bling. There we go. All right, that's where it's going. Okay, I think that'll do for that one. That's pretty. And now I'll lift it up because it's actually showing like it's gold under here, but it's not. It's silver. So if I hold it like that, you can see that it's got the silver and the white dots on it. Now, you know what we haven't had out for a while, don't you? Stella. <laughs> we have to put some wink on here somewhere, like on those trees. Got to, I've got to wink the trees a little. We've got to get a bit of wink on there. snowy bit. What do you think? And the one on this one too. Alrighty, there we go. Bit of wink on that one and a bing, bit of wink on that one. Maybe a bit of wink on this one. There we go. Lovely. Some wink in there. I haven't used that for a few weeks. My wink is Stella. I do keep it handy though. I want his antlers. Like he's got snow on his head. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for your input. <laughs> it's so much fun doing this. I love having you all along good helps me work it out as I go it's really good thank you for that all right we're nearly done now the other thing I was just going to talk about briefly I'll just stick that over there for a second how much time have I got oh all night I've got all night so these are the cards that I used on this dampen <clears throat> the mini emboss machine before I just embossed all of these while we were sitting here earlier in the video if you need to go back to that and something that's coming out in the new catalogue. So the new catalogues are being sent out by Stampin' Up! this week. So if you are on my mailing list, you will get one. If you had asked me for them. If you weren't, you're still welcome to get some. I cannot send them to you myself. Um, so within Australia. And the new one is 
the pink one. So there's other, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> there's other posts on my Facebook page with the catalogue picture. We can't show you inside the catalogue yet, but we can buy some of the products if we're demonstrators already. So <clears throat> I've bought some of these little brushes, which I might play with next week. So I thought I'd do that on the some of these embossed things. So I'll have that next week to play with, but we can't actually buy the brushes as customers until January. They'll be available then. They're really soft and they're so... Look at that. I love them. I love just touching them like that. <laughs> they're very soft. So I'm just going to use these next week to make another card and I think I'll use another piece of this uh, paper next week as well. One of these to make a lovely little um, card and there's some other sentiments in here that we could use for things as well. Have a cosy Christmas, beginning to look a lot like Christmas, happiest holidays, Merry Christmas. And you can also put a scarf on the moose if you wanted to. So, like I said before, these are on special at the moment. The Merry Moose and the paper. This paper is on special as well. And I will probably use... I think I'll use this one next week. Here's a card. And make something with one of those sentiments. And use my brush and some of these to play with. Okay, so that's next week. And that's about it for tonight. I think that's all. I've got my Whale of a Time class coming up on the 19th. If anyone's interested in joining in, it's $20 for the kit class. And I pre-cut the, the kit and send it out to you to, to join me on the day. So you don't have to buy the whole suite yourself unless you want to. You're welcome to. But um, I do provide all the bits and pieces that you need from the set. And I showed all of that last week. So that's the beautiful ribbon out of the set. I haven't quite worked out what I'm making yet but I'll work it out soon and there's some little shells and things in this sequence set. I've just got them sitting here on my table. Just a minute. And I've got the whale done. And the embossing folder is beautiful. That's a 3D embossing folder and it comes up. I haven't actually played with it yet, but I just love the look of it and all the samples that I've seen. And the papers are gorgeous too. So there's lots of lots of papers in there. Look, turtles, oh, lots of yummy things. Yummy. So that's about it. So I'll say good night and thank you for joining me. And oh, what's Athena got? I've oh six now for every family colour. Yes, I've been thinking about that. I will need a few more <laughs> to do the different colours. Yeah, that's a good idea. And um, I've got to find something to stand them up in as well they're just sitting in my side box at the moment but um, that's okay I'll work that out soon so if you have any ideas about that standing up your little brushes that'd be good too all right I'll say goodbye and see you next week ciao thanks for joining me